everyone, welcome back. So I'm back in my bathroom and today I am going to be doing a continuation of my last video where I reviewed the wild deodorant. Um, if you haven't seen it yet, then it's basically part one to this video and I'll put a link down below so you can watch it. Um, it's basically an honest review, completely unbiased of wild natural deodorant. Now, this is part two of this video. Wild have kindly sent me a new edition, which is the new purple case. So last video we only had three options of colours. This one is a lovely lilac purple shiny metallic colour. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Still exactly the same size as the original containers. I love anything rainbow, purple, purple's my favourite colour. For this video, I'm going to go through all the fragrances you can get and also going to go through how you replace your cartridge. So basically what you do to replace your cartridge is you're gonna wind it backwards, so anti-clockwise at the bottom until your empty cartridge goes all the way down to the bottom. Mine's got a tiny bit left in it still, but um, I'm just gonna show you how to change it. Then you're gonna push in the sides but you wanna be really careful because the cartridge can just pop out. So you're gonna just wobble it like this, really slowly. <laughs> Please don't fall out. <laughs> As it's only balanced really, really lightly, isn't it, on this little ledge, so be really careful with it. And then these, you can literally just dispose of in your recycling. They are obviously compostable as well. And then to pop a new replacement one on, you simply just pop it on top and pop it back on and then give it a twist all the way until it gets to the top, as I covered in my previous video. Now, before I reload a new fragrance onto my purple cartridge, what I'm gonna do is go through all the scents with you. Now, when you order your three refills, um, they will send you them in a box like this. And so we just open that up. Your three refills will come like this. Like I say, they will last you quite a while, a month minimum. Mine last at least two. And you can choose your three fragrances that come in this. So the first one that I've been using so far is the Rose Blush. Um, so if you like a just nice, pleasant, um, light smelling deodorant, and you love the smell of rose petals, it really does smell like rose petals, I would say choose that one if you just like um, a really light fragrance. The next fragrance which came with my purple deodorant container is, da, 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 what have they sent me? Mint Fresh. Now they've also got a new lid. So this is a lot flatter than the original lid. Pop that off. Let's have a smell. Oh wow, that is minty. <laughs> okay, so that I would say is like a pepperminty, peppermint and spearmint I can smell in there. Oh, you know, like a really nice smell of a chewing gum, but fresh. <laughs> it's hard to explain. Oh, but that's lovely. So this one is orange zest. Okay, it's not too strong. Maybe it'll smell more orangey once it's on. It's not as overpowering as the mint one. The mint one is very, very strong in a good way. You know, like when you go to a spa and you can smell peppermint and it's really relaxing. That's what the mint one smells like. And sometimes it says you have to squeeze the sides a little bit just to make sure they come away from the edges um, and it helps it to go up in the container more because sometimes the product can get stuck to the edge of the cartridge. So just give it a tiny little squeeze, as you can see there, just to make it come away from the cartridge. Now the orange zest, on my reviews on my last video, I had some comments and people were saying that the orange zest has given them stains under their armpits. Um, when wearing white t-shirts. So I'm just gonna pop my orange zest into the deodorant case. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the deodorant to my armpit. One, two, three, four, five. Let's have a smell. Okay, so the orange one isn't too strong. I would say it's about the same amount of light fragrance as the rose blush. Could do have been a little bit more orangey, in my personal opinion. And on the other armpit, I'm going to use Bergamot Rituals. So this is one of my favorite fragrances in the whole world, Bergamot. Oh, I just love the smell of Bergamot. I'm now going to load my Bergamot Rituals into my rose gold case. And I'm gonna apply this one. 
One, two, three, four. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a white t-shirt on. This is just like a white t-shirt from Primark. It's quite new. I've only worn it like once. It's got no stains or anything like that on the armpit. As you can see, it's all fresh and white. Okay, so I've left my normal top underneath because what I want to do is not completely sweat, but I want it to be nice and tight. So it's quite tight fitting under my armpit, as you can see. And I'm going to go and cook some dinner. And after about two or three hours, I'd say, I'm going to come back and we're going to see if the product has transferred onto the top. Um, I might even do just maybe like a 20 minute yoga workout or something like that, just so that I sweat a little bit so the product comes off onto the t-shirt. And before I go and do that, I'm just gonna tell you about the last fragrance, which is Coconut Dreams. Oh, this one's nice and strong. You can smell this straight out the packet without applying it. This one smells like holiday. You know, like pure coconut smells, fresh, sunny, summery. Oh, amazing. So I'd say the order of the fragrances is Bergamot Rituals is the lightest then orange zest, then rose blush, I'd say is in the middle because it's still quite strong but light as well, then coconut dreams and then peppermint, uh, minty fresh sorry, whichever smell you like go for. Right I'm gonna go and do like a 20 minute yoga, um, do my cooking, make my dinner and stuff and then we'll see how we get on with the white t-shirt test. See you in a bit. Three hours later. My 20 minute yoga session turned into like a half hour stretch workout so now I'm going to take off the t-shirt, I'm just going to show you first, I don't know if you can see, I do have sweat patches and it is wet under there. So I have done it fairly. Here's the bergamot here, here's the bergamot and the orange zest together. There's not a lot of colour difference if I'm completely honest. So I don't think the fact that the orange zest has natural orange oils in it, I don't think that's going to make your clothes orange so you don't need to worry. Okay so this side is the orange zest. This is the bergamot side. So really there's not a lot in it. So personally the orange zest didn't actually have more of a colour on the t-shirt than the bergamot. So I think maybe it really does just depend on what kind of batch you get. If you're worried about your deodorant transferring onto your clothes or sweat transferring onto your clothes, you can get little pads that look like this and that will stop the transfer. Um, I've never tried them before, but um, I'm sure if you look at reviews, they'll tell you. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and don't forget, the longer you use a natural deodorant like the Wild Deodorant, the better your body will become at um, being familiar with it, and your body will get used to having natural products, and they don't completely stop you from sweating because that is what the body is made to do. So it's still very natural and good for your natural body's process. I'm waffling on now, but please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And please put any questions in the comments box below and I will completely answer them for you. See you soon, guys. Ciao.